Well, I, I before I came in contact with actual Muslims in my local mosque in London, I, I was quite I was very Islamophobic. So I, I believe that um, Islam was a, a terrorist religion, you know, after 9-11, this is, and uh, a danger to the West and um, and so on. So um, I decided um, because I thought sometimes I, I knew that some sometimes the media misrepresented the truth. And I was getting my information from the usual suspects. And I thought that I'm going to go and talk to Muslims to find out what's really going on. So I went to my local mosque, Regent's Park Mosque uh, in London, and met real Muslims. There. I was a Christian at the time. And um, and so learned about Islam. And that was quite a revelation. And I, um, it was the discovery that the spiritual depth that I saw in Christianity, the spirituality, um, which was very important to me, also existed in Islam as well. And it may sound really naive thing to say, but it really was a revelation to me. Um, and that in many ways, at the heart of Christianity, uh, you see the same kinds of uh, concerns and, and dynamics and uh, uh, even concepts that you find in much of Christianity and in Islam as well. So th that commonality forced me to reassess um, my position towards Islam and also discover this completely unknown thing about Islam, which was this man called Muhammad, um, who I had been taught precisely nothing about at school. And um, so to learn about his, his, his life as Sira, obviously Hadith, and so on was uh, quite extraordinary. And uh, it was shocking how ignorant I was and how we generally are in the West. You know, we learn about Julius Caesar, uh, Alexander the Great, who conquered, you know, so many countries. And he's called the Great, by the way, even though he conquered a lot of people. Or we learn about, you know, here in France, Napoleon. Is, is, is it French stamps, new stamps coming out now with pictures of Napoleon on? I mean, he was a dictator. <laughs> I mean, um, um, but no one is mentioning... Muhammad, and yet you know he 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 surpassed. You know he was he excelled in every area as a a military leader, as a general, as a, um, a head of state, as a father, as a, a prophet, as a spiritual mystic almost, um, and so on and so on. He 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 just excelled in so many areas. Looking at it purely humanly here, um, so whilst you can compare him to individuals, great individuals in history. They excelled in any one area, perhaps. Like Alexander the Great was a great general. Yeah. But Muhammad was a great general, too. And he was all these other things as well. So as an all-rounder, interdisciplinary genius, um, he, he uh, is pretty unique. I, I don't know of anyone else historically who can match him, just on a purely human level, I mean. And yet we don't really know anything about him in the West, except bad things, perhaps.